Welcome to Beautiful Designs by Donna's channel. I'm Donna and today I want to talk to you about blush or another name for it is rouge. So I know right now blush isn't getting all the attention in the makeup universe like eyeliners and um, eyebrows but blush is important. You see if you don't wear it it can appear as if you're washed out or even sick and also improper placement is really important because if it's placed in the wrong way it can make you look older and maybe make you look a little fuller in the face than what you want. So blush is important. And um, in this tutorial, I wanna um, show you a basic way to apply a cream and a powder blush. There's so many different face shapes out there, but unfortunately with this COVID shit show happening, I'm unable to bring in other models with different face shapes to show you what placement to what. So it's gonna just be me. And until everything comes back to normal, I'm the model. <laughs> so enough of the talking, here's the video. The first demonstration I'll be doing is the cream blush application. Now I'll be applying the blush on top of the cheekbones, not below, but right on top. And I'm gonna be using a brush. However, you can use your fingers if you'd like, but for the demonstration purposes, I'm going to be using my brush. And here is my cream blush palette and that is the color that I'm going to be using. Dipping the brush into the cream blush, mixing it nicely, and then I'm going to apply it to my cheeks. Now, here's something to remember. If you're going to be doing makeup on someone else, please take the cream blush out and put it on a palette and work from there. You don't want to ever dip your own brush into that because then you'll be spreading bacteria. Now you see I've, I blend it there and then I'm doing circular motions to blend it out. You don't want any harsh lines. And I like to take off any excess of the makeup that's on the brush with a Kleenex. So there you go, it's all blended out. Now it's time to set it. Now there's a rule of thumb, always apply creams and liquids first and then powders. So what I like to use is RCMA No Color powder because it doesn't add any color and it's very sheer and so right now I'm just buffing it and just setting everything. I have my cream blush application. Now next I'm going to show you how to apply powder blush. Now this is the brush I like to use. I like to use a angular blush brush. There are other brushes, but I prefer an angular. And um, I'm gonna apply it right on top of my cheekbones, at least for my face shape. That is what I'm showing you how I'm gonna apply it. I have a really easy way to follow how to apply your um, blush. Two fingers from the base of your nose and one and a half fingers from the corner of your eye. And this is what I'm showing right here. So the, the way I'm putting on the blush right now, the angle, that best suits for my face. Okay, so this is the palette that I'm using for my blush. I'm going to start from the outside working in and I'm making sure I'm stopping any closer than the two fingers from the base of my nose. And the reason why I start from the outside in is that when you first put the brush onto the skin, the first contact is the most intensifying of the color, so that's why you, it's really intense there, and then it fades out. So now I'm gonna blend it, and I like to use circular motions to blend the blush. And if I have a little bit too much blush on, I can take a cosmetic sponge like that and use it like an eraser and blend it down. Now here's a little trick. I like to use um, brushes that are a little on the big side. I like to pinch the ends of the bristles and this thins it out. And this is really a good trick to use if you're um, applying on someone that has a smaller face and your blush brush is too big. So that's what I like to use. And I also do this trick when I'm gonna put a little bit on my eyebrow bone. It just kind of warms it up a little bit. And I like to 
blend what's left of the blush on the brush around my jawline, my forehead, my nose. It just kind of warms things up. And there you have it, my uh, powder blush application. I hope you found this tutorial informative and you give me a thumbs up. And if you have any questions or comments about what you watched, feel free to leave them in the comment box. I'd be happy to answer them. And if you want a little one-on-one -on -one interaction, guess what you can? I'm now offering virtual makeup lessons in the comfort of your own home. I'll be offering um, several different classes for which to choose. They will be fun and each class will be designed for you. No two classes are the same because no two people are. So I will leave that information about, about the classes in the description box. Oh, 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 one more thing. Please subscribe because I don't want you to miss out anything, any videos like, like this one. I'm going to be covering all sorts of different subjects like uh, interest me and I hope they interest you. Like, of course, makeup, uh, skin care, bead weaving, and uh, DIY projects for the home and garden. Again, thank you so much for watching. Until next time, bye.